Hey, it's Jorge from Team JVS giving you a quick exclusive review of the new HBO limited series, The Regime. And this starts Kate Whistlin, and she's basically this dictator of this European country. Um, and basically, it's just kind of showing all the unraveling and and everything that's happening within like her palace. Um, this This is a hard review for me because... I really liked some parts of this and some of it just didn't hit for me. And I'm not sure if it's just that the humor just wasn't hitting for me. I think this is going to do great, you know, on HBO. And I think it's going to definitely have its audience that is going to hit. I think just for me, this was one of those dramas that tried too hard to be a comedy at points, I feel. And it just wasn't wasn't sinking with me at, at, as much as I, I wanted it to. Um, so with that said, you know, I'll, I'll go into my review because I think there are parts of this that are really good. And I think there's there's people that are going to love this series. Um, it just wasn't for me. And that's OK. So I'll kind of start off with some of like the high parts of this that, that I really enjoyed. Um, Kate's character, Elena, or Elena, she was phenomenal like i i truly loved how you kind of have this dictator who is a little nutty and <laughs> at the end of the day and you kind of see a lot of her vulnerabilities and a lot of just the the things she's scared of and kate the way she acts throughout this whole show is nothing short of just like brilliance like she she is a scene stealer um and it's weird saying that because obviously she's the main character but I feel she does such an amazing job of just making you feel everything that she's supposed to make you feel, which I thought was phenomenal. I think, um, you know, right now, if, when you look at this show, I mean, Kate has to win something for this. I mean, she, she's been doing too well to not win something. Let's put it that way, because... Mar of Easttown did phenomenal when that got released. Now she has this, like, it's almost like back-to-back, -back, just, like, great shows that, you know, a lot of people will like. I think um, the sets and the costumes were ridiculously amazing and, and super well done. Um, you know, I I think one of my, my favorite parts is just, um, so they bring in this guy, Zubak, who's played by, uh, Mateus, and he does such a phenomenal job. Like, you kind of get this, and I don't know, uh, he's some type of military person. I forgot kind of, like, what exactly he was when he got, <laughs> for better lack of terms, like, voluntold to do this position. Um, but you kind of start seeing this lost man almost finding his way. Uh, throughout this series and finding out kind of how it is from coming from, you know, I don't want to say nothing, but coming from nothing and then being around all this power. And you kind of see that dynamic between him and her uh, just kind of moving more and more and more throughout the, the series. And the crazy thing is, there's only six episodes, so it's not a super long series. But they pack so much in there, which is really nice. And it's it's really cool. Um for me, some of the parts that I think were were meant to be funny just didn't didn't really hit as well for me. And some of the jokes and and the humor just it it just didn't hit for me. And I think that was the part that I couldn't I just couldn't get past at some points. And it's weird because you could watch this series and you know I can tell you different episodes, different things that I I really enjoyed about Kate or. I enjoyed about some of the other characters like Hugh Grant is in this, um, you know, and, and you kind of look at it and, and you see it and you're like, oh, that was really good or or this is really good or it's really good acting. But the story as a whole and, and just the way it was told, it just it didn't sink for me, um, which stinks because, you know, I'm I'm a big fan of Kate and I, I really hope this does well um, just because she's she's awesome. 
but I think when when I kind of have to sit down like for me this one was kind of like a swing and a miss and not saying that it's going to be a swing and a miss for you but it just was for me um if I had to rate this kind of from you know like one to ten it's kind of hard because there were some aspects of this that I really liked um I actually enjoyed how it was shot too and and the visuals of it because I think representing this country kind of really showed in this if I had to rank this realistically I'd probably give it like a six out of ten um just because some of the stuff just didn't it didn't stick as well as I'm sure that they they were intending it to um not to say to not watch it I would love to hear some of your guys' thoughts and opinions and just how you felt about this um because for me, it overall, you know, it's it's definitely watchable. I just don't know. I don't know if I'm going to rewatch it. Let's put it that way. Like, I, I think I, I may give it another shot just to see if, if I was just off those days that I saw this early. But um, for now, I'll just I'll give it a, you know, like a soft six out of ten. That may go up, you know, if I rewatch it. And if I do, I maybe I'll do another discussion on this. Maybe I'll do, um, you know, who knows? Maybe I'll do a spoiler discussion once uh once this is all out and and you know maybe i digest it a little bit more but other than that this is jorge from team jvs and we'll see you next time peace